okay, I'm going to show you how to set pre-roll and post-roll changes and how to uh, activate them whenever you want to punch in with some lead-in time. So I want to do a punch in here at bar 15, and I want four bars of pre-roll to lead me into that before I go. So we're going to go window, we're going to go down to transport, and then you'll see a pre-roll and a post-roll button here. I am going to put pre-roll in. You'll see this yellow flag up here, uh, that white flag. It was white before, you can see, and it turns yellow. That's my pre-roll. I'm setting that to four bars, so I'm going to leave it at that. You can change it to anything you want. You can change it to eight bars, two bars, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at four bars. Uh, I'm already record enabled here, and so I'm going to hit record. Here, four bar count in here. And then you watch the track here. Now it starts recording right there. And then I'm going to hit stop, and it's going to stop. Uh, if we wanted to add post roll time on that of four bars, after I hit space bar, it would keep doing that and go on that way. So that's pre-roll and post-roll uh, for punch-ins and pro-tools.